So here we are again, we are back. Uh, took a couple of weeks off, uh, mostly because I had a car crash and it was Christmas. So two of them things kind of resulted in me not making YouTube videos. Um, car crash wasn't a bad one, but I did hurt my neck and I had a headache for about four days. Uh, my neck's still feeling it. It still hurts a little bit now, which is a bit sucky. So I've not come far and I've come somewhere quite flat and we're also traveling quite light. So. Yeah, I'm just trying to make things as easy as I can for myself. And then obviously we had Christmas, so I just want to spend time with the kids and with the family and stuff like that. So YouTube kind of went on the back burner for a couple of years, a uh, couple of years, a couple of weeks. Um, so what we're doing today, you may be wondering. Uh, I've come down to the woods because when I was a younger man than I am now, you know, before my knees hurt and everything, um, there was a camera that I lusted after. Uh, it cost about six grand and I was about 18, 19 years old. And I worked in a bar at the time and I couldn't really afford six grand on a camera, but I'm now 34 and I have a job and the camera's now not six grand, so here it is. It's a Canon 1D Mark III, uh, focus, yeah, anyway. It's a Canon 1D Mark III, uh, it's winter and we've come to the woods, so would you imagine winter woodland photography with a Canon 1D Mark III and maybe just a 70 to 200 lens because, well, the other lens is on this and I think this lens might be a bit silly for recording video with. So we're going to go have a walk around. There's some silver birch trees just over there in the clearing that I quite like the look of. So I'm going to maybe, maybe sit up and photograph them first. Uh, like I was saying, I'm in a bit of pain still. So just to chill that one, I think. More than anything, it is just nice to be back outside in the outdoors with a camera doing what I love. Uh, I've missed it. I'll be honest with you, I've missed it. I'm not an indoorsy type person. I'm not the sort of person that wants to sit down and watch TV all the time. I just, I want, I want to be out and not being able to get out was, it's kind of sucked a little bit if I'm being honest with you. So we're back with a 1D Mark III that cost me what, two and a half hundred quid used. 2007, what's that? 16 years old, 17 years old, somewhere around there. Let's see what it can do. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so I do have a tripod with me to put this camera on, but it's just one of them cameras that just feels good. Do you know, it just feels and looks like a proper camera and you just want to hold it. And I don't feel like putting it on a tripod just yet. So um, just in the front of me over there is the silver birch trees that I've just been um, so cinematically walking over to and pretending to take pictures of. So I thought, stuff it. Let's just do it handheld here. Uh, I can manage to fill the frame with this because I'm using 7200 millimeter lens with a with an APS H size sensor, which is giving me what? A third on top of that, so what's that? 260 millimeters. So it's quite, it's quite punched in. So I might even have to zoom out a little bit, which would be, oh God, even 70 millimeters. All right, let's move back a tiny bit. There we go. I just really just want to fill the frame with these, with these trees. There's not going to be too much color in this shot. It's all very sort of dead would be. In fact, I've maybe even got to try to say beige. It does look beige. It's all very, monotonous but you do have some of the sky peeking through in the background which is obviously it's not going to blow out because it's not a bright blue sky but there isn't really any color in this shot it's all very i say beige and monotonous um, so i'm shooting this at let's have a look da -da -da. i saw 400 it's a bit cloudy it's uh there's not a lot of light around so i bumped the iso up uh what a hundredth of a second and f5 so let's have a look Focus just on one of the trunks of the trees, that looks good to me. Just checking the edges a little bit, just to make sure there's sort of even spacing between everything at the bottom. And off we go. Ah, this camera sounds like an absolute machine gun when you fire off the shot, listen. Oh, it's so much fun to do. Um, so yeah, so there's the first image. Uh, I'll throw that on the screen for you to see. Uh, and I'm just gonna go for a walk around the outside of this field, just shooting in, just keeping it nice and easy and nice and relaxed. So here's the image, let's go find another one. All 
Right, so I haven't actually moved all that far. In fact, I haven't moved at all for this second image. What's happened was there was a bit of a break in the clouds and some of the sunlight's been shining through, illuminating some of the grass as well as illuminating one of the trees in the distance. So what I've done is I haven't got an L bracket for this camera, so I have to use the notch on the ball head, which I'm not fussed about doing. Well, not, I'm not thrilled about doing it. I am fussed about doing it. I'm not thrilled about doing it. Um, the ball head tends to creep. This is a heavy old camera with a heavy old lens on it. So uh, I'm not too sure if this has crept about while I've been, while I've been chatting. Uh, no, it seems okay. So let me just have a look at some settings because it's there. So we are F4, a 320th of a second and ISO 400. Now I've zoomed in just on this singular tree. I quite like it. There's some, there's some greens and some reds and some yellows in it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I've got a two second timer on, but because of the way this camera is set up, there is no timer beat, but there is a hell of a shutter clack. So uh, here's the next image. I'll throw that on the screen for you to see. And I'm probably gonna move off over in that direction. There's some trees over there that I quite like the look of. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get in and amongst the woods today, purely because of purely because of time constraints, I think. Uh, sunset's gonna be in about an hour and a half. I haven't got time to really get in there. So yeah, let's go find another one, eh? I'm enjoying myself again. else waiting for July. Oh, I'm not a fan of photography in winter. It's cold and it's not much fun. I'm lying, I'm loving it. Um, right, this place where I am, North Cliff Woods Nature Reserves, stumps. Stumps. Got to take a picture of the stumps when you're here. Um, I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to take a picture of the stumps rather than using the stumps. I'm going to take a picture of that particular stump and I'm just going to blare the background out to hell. So what are we at? Uh, F4. 320th of a second. Is that looking about right? No, it's not. 100th of a second now. Um, F400 of a second, I saw 400 then. So I'm going to go crouch down here and take a photograph of it. Uh, and then I'm going to bore you by talking about the camera. Uh, you're lucky. Right, hats on backwards again. It makes me look like I know what I'm doing. I'll have to move it further back, I think. Let's have a look. There we go. See, I, there's some pokey out bits on top of this, on top of this stump, and I kind of want to get them above the tree line, or at least breaking the tree line with nothing coming out from behind them, if that makes sense. Uh, live view on this camera kind of works, but it... It doesn't at the same time. It's a bit hit and miss. Uh, there, that looks about right. So I'm going to turn the live view off. I'm also going to turn the two second timer off if I can remember which button does that. There we go. Obviously I'm shooting this handheld again. Uh, so the textures on this tree trunk are just phenomenal. It's a shame there isn't really any light. The sun is roughly about, well, it's roughly behind where you are, but the cloud is far, far too thick. And it's kind of that, that really gray, blue, casted cloud as well it's it's some ugly ass ugly ass light today what am i doing out taking pictures in it? i don't know all right i focus on that now i'm going to use the live view and i'm going to kind of eyeball this but the live view on this camera isn't the best this was the first canon camera other than uh, the point and shoot to actually come with a live view function on it so yeah it's not the best and it's manual focus only, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. So there we go with that. The sky is completely, completely white on that, but I can live with it. So I'm going to show you the uh, image on the screen while I talk to you a little bit about this camera. So 2007, it cost around six grand when it was brand new, which was, it was the all singing, all dancing, everybody wanted one professional camera. The damn thing is made of metal. It weighs an absolute ton. It's a beautiful, beautiful object to hold in your hand. I mean, it's old, it's only got 10 megapixels on the sensor or 10 million photo sites because camera sensors don't actually have megapixels. That's, well, that's a topic for another day. Uh, so yeah, there isn't an awful lot of detail going to be captured from the sensor of this, but 
hell the pros was using it back then so why can't i use it now that's my thinking um it does 10 frames a second as a base mode which is phenomenal for a dslr it sounds awesome the viewfinder it's it's absolutely brilliant to look for the viewfinder it's so bright and so big uh it's got 40 i think it's got 46 or 45 autofocus points but only 19 of those are selectable by the user the rest of them are um, assist points you know when you've got a sort of modern camera you'll have several different autofocus modes one of them is generally a box with another couple of little dots around it that's the camera using the um, the autofocus assist points this camera has it obviously you can't select them all but it's it's modern enough for me it's also got a really fun little joystick let me see if i can show you it Boop. it's there it's got a really fun little joystick for um for wiggling the for wiggling your autofocus point around the screen so that makes it really good fun to use but it's just a beautiful camera to play with it looks like a camera it feels like a camera and i am so pleased that i finally own one it's um i'll be honest with you since i've had it it is my favorite camera to use uh the canon ip that this is this video has been recorded on this is obviously that's that's a modern camera it's got all the bells and all the whistles on it but this thing it is a camera it just it's just so much fun to use um so yeah i'm i'm kind of wondering what i can take a photograph of now what time are we on let's have a let's have a time check oh we've got I've got an hour and a half until sunset. Uh, and there's an awful lot of this place to explore. There's a wind turbine behind me that I'm probably going to take a picture of because I quite like that. And I'm kind of wondering. I'm wondering, it's spinning around quite quick. I wonder if we can maybe get a bit of motion blur visible in an image. Maybe around a half second exposure time. I don't know. The sky also seems to be clearing a little bit over there, which is which is giving me some hope because actually come to think of it there is some blue cloud uh, blue sky patches appearing so mm, there's always a chance of a bit of a light leak isn't they who knows a light leak in a good sense not bad sense right that's enough of me talking now because this has been a long spot of me just talking i'm gonna go take a picture or at least figure out how to take the next picture so i'll be back in two seconds all right so this wind turbine uh there's a lot of fun little things like fences and plough lines I would say in the in the field of there are quite like it so uh, I'm trying to find a composition where I am but obviously the sensor in this camera has a 1.3 times crop factor so everything is super duper punched in so I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk around and I'm going to show you the picture that I end up taking <laughs> I'll tell you what it's getting cold now um right just over there in the distance there is like an old farmhouse with like a tree just sort of dotted off to one side from it so it, it kind of works for me in a balancing the image out where i'm probably going to go like a 16 by 9 panorama with this and um, i'm a little bit unsure about the sky there is some texture in the sky but not not an awful lot of texture in the sky the blue cloud and the, the little sunlight breaks that was popping through earlier on with well, they've kind of disappeared for the most part now so the sky has gone back to being flat and boring again so uh, i might give it a few minutes just to see if any sort of light does develop but i'm gonna take a test shot to begin with anyway so we're at f7.1 iso 100 ah uh, uh, and i'm gonna use a two second timer sorry my hands are cold i'm so cold right now so i've taken a test shot just to check it uh, this instagram's not spiked so it's not clipped the sky so at least i can bring some of that back so i'm just gonna give it a few minutes and just see if any see if any sort of color or any sort of texture or any sort of funness happens in the sky if not you're gonna see this image if not you're gonna see the nice pretty image so whichever one i managed to take and use and keep is the image you're about to see so here it is
Right, I think I'm going to end this Canon 1D video here. Uh, I am far too cold. The light's fading a bit now, so yeah, I think it's time to end the video. But I've had good fun. I've enjoyed myself. I've got out and I've used my camera again, which is which has been the aim of today's video more than anything else. So if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up because it really does help the video out. It really does push it out to new viewers and it brings more viewers to my channel. In return, it helps me out and I really do appreciate it. So if you have enjoyed the video, if you've enjoyed me messing about today, uh, I know the light's not been great, the photos probably aren't, aren't the best photos I've ever taken, but it's more been, more been for me just to get out again. So if you have enjoyed it, uh, do hit the subscribe button down below, which will be that side, I think. Um, and you'll see more nonsense um, from me going forward. So I'm going to end with my usual ending, which is peace and goodbye.